guys, what is up? Today we will be doing another review, this time on the Six Storm Spider-Man and the Magma Defender Lightning Collection. So, I know a lot of people hate on the Six Storm Spider-Man. I don't necessarily think it's a bad figure, but I'll go into deeper details once we get to it. But yeah, and now, like I just said like a few seconds ago, we are actually getting in with the um, Six Storm Spider-Man. So, <sighs> sorry guys, I just, I'm so tired from school. But here's the Six Storm Spider-Man. And honestly, he's not a bad figure. Some people are like, oh my god, what is wrong with you? This is the worst figure ever. But honestly, I don't think, just because it doesn't have the ab crunch, doesn't mean it's that bad. Like, he can still tilt over. But, um, yeah. So, we got the head. It's kind of a weird head. It doesn't look like Spider-Man. Like, maybe, like, a con the TV show, the animated cartoon video show. But, I don't, I've never seen this Spider-Man before. Mmm, it doesn't look like the pizza Spider-Man either. I never reviewed that figure. But, um, yeah. This isn't bad. Like, I can do some cool poses. Like, I've done, I, when, I got this only yesterday. But... It's a pretty good figure. You can do that. And the problem with this, yes, it doesn't have the app crunch, which kind of sucks, but not really. The only problem is with um the the rest the uh, arms. I thought these would be like what is it? I forgot what kind of arms there, but the arms that go like all the way back, like, and then there's like a space right here. Like, though, they don't have this on this figure, so that kind of sucks. And, um, this plastic is kind of stiff to move, it's kind of stiff, but, and if it was, um, like. All of it with Spider-Man arms. That would have been really cool. Maybe they should make it with an app crunch. But. I think that. um Hasbro. I think Hasbro made it. Yeah Hasbro. I think it's very hard. Because I have two. Um, I have like. From the. Spider-Man Far From Home Wave. I have this one. But it's like venomized. I don't know what it's called. The thing. I forgot. But I don't think this is necessarily a bad figure. It definitely has some minor details that are, need to be fixed. But otherwise, this is actually a pretty good figure to me. It looks cool, actually. And, it, and it's actually Spider-Man. Spider is kind of creepy if you watch the old animated show. But otherwise, it's not that bad. And this is actually pretty cool. And then all these arms have um, joints to them. The bottom arm can move out that far. We got the middle arm. And... The Spider-Man arm. So as you can see, these are three lengths of the arm. This arm goes out the farthest just because it's in a shooting position. But I honestly don't really care. His head. Oh wait, let me get him in a standing position. I don't know, like people like shirt in his prime. And um... Mike the Hunter do. No, not Mike the Hunter. I don't know. But his head can go up that high. His head goes down that low. And his legs 
go up that high. How much do they go back? They don't go back that far. They only go back this far. But honestly, this is a pretty good figure. It kind of sucks that you don't have any like open hands because this figure only has shooting hands and fist hands, so which kind of sucks. So they don't give you any open hands, so you can like do some battles like with swords and stuff, so it can be like OP. But I think this is a pretty good figure, and um, it's not too bad. And um, yeah, this is a Spider-Man figure. Tell me what you guys think of him. Well, you can't, really. But still, this is a pretty cool figure. And, yeah. So, now, we are doing the Magma Defender. This figure is literally, I'd say, pretty cool. I definitely think it's... I like both the figures that I'm showing in this video, but I really like this one, too. The Magma Defender is from Lost Galaxy. And, um, yeah, it's actually not that bad. Oh, wait, let me actually show off him 360. Got the spider symbol in the back. And, um, okay, now I'm done. So, here's the magma defender. He has a cool shield beam, I think, or that's, like, the plate. And he's got the, he's got the cool helmet, sadly. We never saw his real face in, um, Lost Galaxy, so his helmet doesn't move, and that's why they didn't give us an extra head either. They did, but this figure is still pretty cool. It's got the gold, and it has moving shoulder pads, which is kind of weird. It can't really do like the special pose like the other rangers do in Lost Galaxy. But um not bad really. The shoulder pads up and down. Cause he has arms. He's got the gold on his shoulders. On the end of his shoulder pads. And his belt. And the hands are pretty good. It's a pretty cool figure. He's got a cool cape, black cape, with some red in the back. And his legs are pretty nice, too. The only problem with this, I really don't have two problems, is the shoulder pad. Because he can't do the thing that all the other Power Rangers do in Lost Galaxy, where they hold their sword up. And, um, the belt. The, the, oh, the silver belt is not... It's kind of weird because it like hangs on this side. But um, here's the packaging. And um, here are the accessories. So it comes with um, two extra hands, both open. And it comes with a gun, the Magma Defender gun, I think. And then a sword. Here it is. And then you put it back on. It kind of looks like a gun. And you got a blast. Um. Yeah, that's actually really it. I don't know what else I was going to say. But. Yeah, um. Don't hate on the six arm spell. Spider-Man. <laughs> but, yeah, these are the two figures. And I really hope you guys like this video. I try to keep it under 20 minutes. And that's what I did. So, I thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.